Big game at SoFi last night, 49ers and Chargers. Good times. No Justin Herbert for Los Angeles. A lot of Easton stick, though. A lot of Easton stick. By the way, great name. Like, that kid was destined to be a professional athlete. Easton stick. Easton (laughs) stick. Great name. Great name. Almost like Cage Brockman. A lot of Jimmy G, though, and Trey Lance both performed pretty decently. Trey Lance, a couple of touchdown passes. He was 8 for 14. And Kyle Shanahan, after the game, was asked about it because he did say earlier in the preseason that Jimmy G was number one on the depth chart. So does he want to name a starting quarterback? Take a listen. Well, he check. Kyle, you, you said open the camp saying that Jimmy's a starter, not an open competition, but obviously everybody's competing. Has anything done much to change that dynamic as you go into the third preseason game? No, I haven't seen that. You know, I, I would love for um, it to – be more and more each week, but you know I think the situation is pretty similar right now. Are you going to make an announcement? Is Jimmy Garoppolo your starter week one? No, I'm not making that announcement. Let's try when, though. When, when, <laughs> Whenever I feel like it. <laughs> not tonight. I mean, when are you going to make that announcement? Question. I mean, Q. When are you going to make that announcement? Answer. Whenever I feel like it. This is the man who you. <laughs> how are you? You coming at the king like that? I mean, like, this is the man who's, like, saying, you know, uh, are we going to even be alive on Sunday? We don't even know if we're going to be alive Sunday was an answer to a question in regards to Jimmy Garoppolo earlier this calendar year. One of the greatest responses of all time. We we don't even know if we're going to be here on planet Earth. Uh, whenever I feel like it. Look, <laughs> another bravo, uh, Kyle Shanahan, and and also to the reporters there who who are asking the appropriate question here. Like, do you know? Like, when will you know? When will you let us know? San Francisco at Detroit. So, <laughs> the uh, Niners nor Jared Goff can quit each other, um, despite Goff's new address. So let me just say this. For Belichick and Shanahan, and also Matt Nagy, all three of them, for them to name a starter now would be coaching malpractice. Malpractice. Well, you got to name a starter. Teams got to know who it is. They, teams will know who it is based on who's working with the ones. They will know who it is. If Lance suddenly gets more ones reps teams will get the gist the same with mac jones in new england same with what the bears are doing teams will know they'll get it they'll understand it and if a switcheroo is pulled up prior to week one okay because teams do not have to let anyone else know And everybody who wants to work for Kyle Shanahan or Bill Belichick or Matt Nagy knows they are putting their employment status with these coaches on the line if they breathe a word to anyone. The only exception to the rule is, I guess, Rob Gronkowski telling his dad about his health status and then they'll they'll talk about it publicly and then (laughs) they'll deal with that when, you know, it happens when it's Gronk (laughs) in New England. That was one of the rare miscues and I'm sure the Gronk family heard uh, from the flow chart in New England about that sort of stuff moving on but there's no reason to give the Lions a heads up when you're preparing for Garoppolo or Lance that's a big decision that's a big difference difference. you've got a lot to think about if you put into Detroit's mind's eye you got to get ready for Lance too same thing with Cam or Mac in Miami, who New England faces that week? The Rams. The Rams really, you want to give them a heads up? Who's going to be? Is it going to be Dalton or is it going to be Justin Fields? You really need to give them a heads up? Put something in their heads. And you could sit here, well, teams won't keep it a secret. Yeah, they will. Do you remember how surprised we all were when it wasn't Jameis, it was Taysom Hill who got the first nod when Drew Brees went down last year? Mm -hmm. Remember it was all surprised? They're like, what? Say, what, what, what? Oh, yeah. You can keep it a secret. That said, I, I, I think it's going to be Lance soon rather than later, and it'll probably be Garoppolo week one. Bring him in, get him up to speed on some uh, on some of those red zone plays. Bring him in. 
boy, did he look good too. He looks tall. He looks like he, he's going to be a problem. He is going to be a problem when he fully grasps what Shanahan thinks he needs to grasp. Trey Lance is going to be a major problem, mark my words. And him versus Kyler Murray, him versus Ooh. Russell twice a year, him versus Stafford, too. Oh, boy, the deep end of the NFL pool is only going to get deeper. The light's already on in this kid's head. Wait till it goes on fully connected to Shanahan's light. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.